Good morning, everybody, and we are live here at the Mid-Atlantic Major, right outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for the NXL Premier Field. We have some great Sunday morning matches coming to you on this beautiful day here in, outside Philadelphia. So, this first set, we have the New Jersey Jesters, a rebuilt, revamped squad going into the season, getting some of their previous pro players back, making it on to Sunday versus FSU Austin Notorious, who are trying to repeat their magic from the first event of the year, making it into the finals. Unfortunately, falling a little short to PB Fit. They're trying to get back on top. Ten seconds. Also, PB Fit and Killers in this set as well. Jester's gonna be on your left hand side with blue and black jerseys. FSU Notorious is gonna be in the red camouflage jerseys. Great breakout here on the screen from Notorious. As you can see, digging all the way out to the corner on the six side, also going up the middle. And then great move by a, a player from Victoria to win. The juice box is in here. Five on five breakout so far. Sunday deep ball here. No one wanting to make a mistake early on and get the other two to made it. Victoria's great move into the Yard line to the wing, backed up by the Jester player. On your screen now, Jester. Have a little bit of a pop to play on the D side. Trying to stop Victorious from getting to the snake. But they've been doing a phenomenal job. Omar has been going absolutely ham in the snake. Jester goes to back up. They move up to the 50 yard line. Brick. Big move on the real side. Oh, great job trading out. Victorious player trading out with. The Jester player in the 50 brick. D side battle going on right now. Great shot from the Jester player on the D side to stop that push. Looks like Bateman and Notorious. Oh, they're playing the corner, getting checked right now for the Jester snake corner. He is out. So body dropping back to back. Battle here. No more does get to the He's moving down, he's moving to the 50. They don't know that he's there yet. He looks inside. He did a shot. Kept him making a big move down his real side right now. Arduino! Don't think that. Oh, Kovar's picked him up. Arduino! Jester's moved out to the snake corner. We try to stop the attack. Kovar now on to Jester's side of the field. They know he's there. White smoke from FSU Notorious making a huge move up into the center, bunkering out. The three up player, oh, oh, great tactical retreat too. Man, White Smoke, he has the uh, long hair, ponytail. Um, great player, Notorious. Back. That's Fran. Also, ah! White Smoke, but Fran's doing a good job. Oh, Kovar gets a great shot across, but then gets taken out with the snake side. So, player in the snake corner here for Notorious, or excuse me, for Jester, really bringing it back right now, doing a great job holding the field down. I want to say it's one on one. Fran's left on the real side. Jester's player here in the corner. Don't see any other players on the field. So it's number 11 for Jester. No paint left in the pot, though. So he has to be careful. In a situation like this, Fran Fran's needs to get closer. Mark the Fran's. See on your screen there. Also known as White Smoke, trying to get the shot in. Looks like he does have some more paint left, so Jester's player gonna have to start picking up paint off the ground here soon. So if you're watching this, everybody at home, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the reason why you do snap shooting drills, because Fran's in a much better position. Jester's player has to defend his buzzer. Number 11. From the Jesters, do a great job. Try to see a little bit of a longer point here, and that's, that's traditional Sunday paintball. As as players have played the field all weekend long, they know that how important it is to get up early and steal that momentum. Now, in a situation like this, you don't want to run down too much time because it could. Oh, and light smoke. Franz gets the kill on the Jesters. Yep, so good job. Good job. Good point by FSU. Notorious, Austin Notorious. Yeah. Yeah. To, uh, to 
get that kill. So, phenomenal job, great one on one, great way to start the morning. So, again, in this set, we also have TV Fit taking on the killers. TV Fit won the first major event, didn't, didn't do as well as they wanted to. Um, it loaned the Lone Star Open, but took home the gold at the Sunshine State Major, the first major event of the year. Looking to repeat, obviously, story here with TV Fit, the now defunct AC Dallas program getting relegated. They are moving seconds. out, they stayed long in the pro division, out here performing really well so far. Uh, in semi-pro, definitely one of the most put together teams in the in the so Killers on the other side in their gray and yellow jerseys, gray and gold, gray and yellow. Um, great job yesterday. Ten Haas seconds. Really making big moves up there. Division two team moving to the semi-pro and uh, making a name for themselves, making Sunday again. So, break out, PD Fit. Very thinner. Play here, not going too wide. They do make it. It's like Scott Stewart. He insert bunker to the snake. He's possible to be low. Hey, ball is all about the game today, but it's why it's so important to watch every shot possible. But Killer's first one to get into the snake. So they do lose. Oh, no. Check this out. He gets clean. Okay, he's going to do it. So that player moves back to the stand. the home. Hoski number 42. Killer's in the snake. Right now, trying to work inside. Scott's great. Scott's going to get the snake. As he does get into the snake, he's looking for the field now. Move the snake metal developing. The killers do lose their first body on the team side. All at the same time, another player, or another player walks out this time from a piece of fish. Looks like Trent Mason walking off the field. Scott's got some good shaking his head. Chavez there over on the Drew side. Nice check off. We have Luke's in front of him. Chavez, great player, making moves. Scott Stewart into the snake. Great job by Scott Stewart. Identify the situation. All the way on the other side of the field now. Oh, and he gets the kill on Hoskin. What a move. Scott Stewart absolutely falling out right now. Early in this one. Oh, he's at 22. Number 25, Mike Diaz following him up. Oh, Tower. great. Succession. Killer saves time. A phenomenal first point One here minute. by Scott Stewart. Literally diving under the lane from the home so bunker and stabbing up the snake player. Great job. Great job by Scott Stewart this morning, helping take that first point in this match against Killers. So again, if you're just now tuning in, we have a great schedule lined up for this morning. We have Jess versus Notorious, maybe Fit and Killers in this set. But stick around because we have Indianapolis, Flash Camp, and CEP versus Colorado Blitz. Then we'll have some W with Excel action with Jesse versus Vibe. And Heroines versus Ben Vital. Ben Vital's seconds. Uh, Cheetahs had a chance yesterday to get into Sunday. But unfortunately, some uh, some little bit of mental errors kept them from getting in. Ben Vitalis moves on. Ten seconds. So back on the field right now. FSU notorious. Austin notorious. Against the Jesters. Great breakout. Both teams push. FSU pushing on the Dorito side. Oh, but they do lose their player out of the center. So five on four advantage right now. For the Jesters, moving up, Jesters player gets in, 3 to 3 and they mirror up, amazing move by Jesters player, getting into the wedge on the snake side, looking at the 3-0, the 3 battle is belting right now, FSG player looks like he's going to be Bateman, the kill, Bateman, oh and he does, great job by Bateman, Get that kill by the Jester's player. 24 that is, moving up. It was a great move by the Jester's player. He just did the check off. It seemed like on that lane. Didn't know that the Jester's player had gotten that far of the field on it. The FSG player in the Dorito side, wrapping around, trying to contain. See if he will for that next spot. Not, not much pressure right now on the Snake. Neither team. Really coming down to a center and real side battle. 
again, like I said, these points are going to get a little slower on Sunday than we've seen before, just because Sunday paintball, one mistake, one small mistake, you make the difference, and you all oh, in tests like that. Unfortunately, Jeff's player goes to dive into the snake. The juice box player, which is that little stand-up brick, shoots down and gets the moving in. So phenomenal job there. Phenomenal job by FSU there for that containment on the snake side. That that player doing his job perfectly. So right now we have another player walking off. The Jesse, oh, and another player. So a uh, quick point there. So it looks to be four players left alive for FSU handedly working this out. Wow, great job, great close there by FSU. Looks like Bateman, Kovar, MJ. And number 11, trying to see, looks like Rodriguez Jr., I believe. Closing that point out. So, a lot of these semi-pro teams out here, several teams have you know, previous pros or pro players. So, again, no slash in this situation. Several of these players, including the have played on top pro teams. Like X Factor, Russian Legion. So, you know, and, and their coach, uh, Ryan Gray, coach of uh, the old Texas Oh, does he get the shot on the player? Looks like Hockey's still alive. Wow. So, Thomas missed his engagement. Unfortunately, Hockey now has the dominant player on that three. He's got to be careful. Chavez screaming right now that he got that kill. He's still ref not pulling him out. So, right now, this needs to happen. Chavez needs to get Hockey. Oh, he finally, finally Hoffman gets out. So, Brent Mason actually is going to the Now three of Chavez to make some moves. Killers will see another player. Five to three battle right now. But the killer player moves out to the insert bunker. Into the snake. Trying to damage the ball right now. But look for Chavez to make some big moves here on the trio side. So killers don't know it yet, but Trent Mason is working his way up into the snake, past the snake, and this is exactly what we need to see. So this is what Nick Colby had to talk about yesterday. Players going, stopping at the 50, but he does lose Scott State behind him, though, so you have to be careful. The game control is the killers trying to stop the bleeding. But now, oh, it was so they got it back to the 
this point back. But that being said, you fit still in a still in much better field position right now. Mike can get a ball up on the center. Oh, what a move. Major penalty pulled on Trent Mason. So, oh, uh, what a turn of events. Unfortunate for PB Fit. Game stop. So, Tiller's player ran down, did get Trent Mason first. Trent spins, shoots it, shoots the player in the pod pack. So, unfortunately, getting a little bit of a gift there from PB Fit, but great job by the Killers pulling that point back. It was a five on three. They shoot two players, even it up. But now we're run by the Killers player in the corner to go down, recognize the situation. One bunker, the bunker Trent Mason, but unfortunately, Trent Mason trying to turn and uh, accidentally gets him, or shouldn't say accidentally, but uh, shoots him and causes a major. So, Killers will get that point, tying it up now. So, those are just little, little mental mistakes that you cannot have on Sunday. It is extremely competitive out here, but situations like seconds. that, little, little, little mental errors can uh, can cause you the, the point and potentially the match. And on Sunday, there's no seconds. going on if you lose. If you lose, you just go home. So. Lots of pressure here on these teams. Ten seconds. All right, so on the field right now, Jersey Jester in the blue and black numbers, but no names in the back of their jerseys. FSU Austin Notorious in their red Sunday jerseys. Throwback to Vicious a little bit with the red Sundays. But great breakout from both teams. Five on five paintball. We have KCAV here with the blue hair, easy to spot for the Jesters in the corner. And if you're out there playing on the semi-pro field and you don't have names in your jerseys, but you want me to know who you are, have some distinguishing feature and blue hair definitely does it. So on the Drio side right now, looks like Bateman. Trying to look across the field right now. Moving down. Wanting to make that move in Dorito too, but unfortunately he's getting stuck. White smoke there in the middle. Trying to keep the player out of the snake. He's followed up by, oh, gotta be careful. Ref's checking his hopper right now. So player's clean. So that's something too. Everyone's gotta be careful with these bounces right now. But KCAV, on the snake side, they don't realize he's in snake three yet. So phenomenal move by KCAP to get into the snake three. Bateman does make it into the Dorito two. Tom Cole, the man, the myth, the legend himself, coming by, saying hello to everybody. Thank you to Tom and all the NXL for providing this amazing opportunity for all you out there to watch this live and free live stream all weekend long here on Facebook. So KCAV shooting down, shooting across the field. Right now, I mean, Jester's in the driver's seat. Better field positions, deeper in the snake, in the Dorito four. This is up, at this point, it's up to them to close it out. But Austin Notorious known for making big moves. Hey, what's the guy's name with long hair again? So Marky France here in the can. Shooting across, trying to hit the bounce shot right now to, to get out KCAV from the Jesters, but still a lot of bodies left alive on the field. Still got a lot of time left, too. The clock's not running and there's no scores on the, on the live stream. So you're just now tuning in. Amazing morning of paintball we have here. We will get you those updates on the scores and times. 
here very shortly. But right now, the score is one to nothing. Notorious over the Jesters and PB Fit Killers one to one, all tied up. So like I said, gonna see some longer points here. Notorious doing a great job filling in the snake. White from Notorious, we have B White getting in the snake. K Cab, oh amazing. Does he get him? Does he stay alive? Well, K Cab goes to engage, misses the engagement, but still stays alive. So doing exactly everything he needs to do. But I believe he shot the FSU player in the. Wow. So White tries to make an amazing move, but unfortunately misses K Cab over the top. So K Cab is able to come around, but he doesn't know. Oh, what a shot. So. Cavs now on Notorious' side of the field. Oh, but he finally gets caught across field. Great job by the player on the Dorito side of the field to shoot across and get that snake player. So now Kovar makes it into the snake. So, so Kovar, after putting in k -Cav, so he could not come down the field, gets a great shot across field now. Kovar in the snake probing, moving up. Now past the 50 snake. If he goes to this next knuckle and looks up, he is going to have the back of this Jester's player. He does not know the Jester's player is in the 50-yard line on the Dorito side. He's going to crawl right past him. So Jester's player now in Dorito 1, looking at cross field. Oh, Kovar's picked him up. So now they know he's there now. So great tactical retreat from the Jester's player to come all the way from coast to coast, from one side of the field to the other to try to catch Kovar. Oh, and a huge move through the center by the FSU player to, to bunker out. Oh, wow. Great. Great rundown by the Jester's player to bunker out. Kovar, but unfortunately, too late as FSU still had three bodies alive. I mean, that's the kind of action-packed play we're going to see all day long out here. Amazing move. Ref's going to come over and talk to the coaching staff here, the Jesters. So, this is something you got to be careful of. The, so the coaching staff, the let you. Okay, so a little bit of a. So. Little bit of a little bit of a, talking to by the refs. So here's the thing, the ultimate and the judge on the field have the discretion that if you are talking too much on the sideline, they can remove you or have you removed, um, and call penalties. So. That's one of the things that I have to be very careful of. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of passion going on right now, but refs not putting up with it. So great job by the refs, keeping everybody honest. That being said, back into this action between the Killers and PB Fit. PB Fit breaking out the center, that tall center bunker, also called the home. So looking here now, looking at Chavez, they're on the Dorito side, Mike Diaz in the middle, Colt Lukau, Scott Stewart, and there's one more body left. He's just blocked out here. Can't quite see him. So that's all right. So, oh, and a minor penalty on the killers. So that, that'll take out two. So now a, looks like. Trent Mason also had gotten taken out. So making it a four on three battle right now with the advantage for PB Fit. So nine minutes, 20 seconds left in this match right now. Mike Diaz, phenomenal move up into that wing on the snake side. Trying to see Chavez moving up on the Drio side right now. 
So great job by PB Fit to push the attack on this side of the field. Killers is getting another play right now. So four on two. Chavez all the way in Dorito four. That's the next one. Great shot, Scott Stewart. So Chavez running down. Wow. So, I mean, PB Fit's looking good right now. PB Fit is looking to be the dominant force. Still some time left in that match. So just about eight minutes left in that PB Fit Killers match. PB Fit's going to go up by one. So while we're waiting for the next teams to walk on the field, I just want to say thank you so much to all of our sponsors that provide this amazing experience for us. Great vendors, great tents out here. So thank you to ProShar, Planet Eclipse, GI Sports, HQ Army, LoneWolfPaintball.com, Die, Air, and DLX Lux for having this amazing field. Great venue out here. I mean, you could not ask for better paintball weather right now. now it feels a little chilly if you're out here watching uh, live. If you're actually on the field, we have a great VIP section. Bring a sweater, but it will heat up throughout the day. But for the players on the field sweating, this is amazing temperature, perfect paintball weather. Back into the action right now, New Jersey Jesters versus Notorious. Five on five breakout again. I mean, teams really trying hard to stay alive on the breakout because losing one body on Sunday can make such a huge difference in the overall momentum. So, oh, FSU Notorious first to drop a body. I believe that's going to be MJ, number three, Notorious. So five on four battle right now. They're going to lose two. So Kovar, number 52 from Notorious, also walks out. So five on three battle right now. Jester's really in the driver's seat into the snake three. Now it has to be careful because white smoke from Notorious there. France is in the center, pumping paint through that snake gap, trying to contain number 11 from the Jesters from getting out, but KCAV behind him. So two players in the snake right now. Trying to do a little bit of a trick right now. So KCAV is trying to convince the can player that there's only one snake player in snake two, allowing a snake three player to go on the inside. So a little bit of trickery going on from the Jesters. See what I did there? <laughs> so... All right, on the field, Dorito side right now. Jester's player all the way up in Dorito four. If he looks inside, he's gonna, oh, and he does, do, he roasts the pack of white smoke. Ooh, give him a little extra on the way out too. So things are gonna get nasty on this field here. So losing another one, so that looks like, wow, good job by Jester's. Several bodies alive on that one. Rodriguez Jr. wearing the wearing the chain, trying to make a desperation move there, but unfortunately, too many Jester's players on the field. So that is going to bring this to a two-point game. But Jester's having one, Austin Notorious two. Excuse me, three. So so, Jester's in the pits right now, talking about they feel, they feel like Notorious is loosening up. They're giving them a chance. So great job by the Jester's to stand fast on that three-point deficit. Now making it a game, bringing it back only down two with plenty of time left. So. Killers PB Fit now on the screen. Eight minutes, 19 seconds left to go in this match. PB Fit going down the Dorito side into Dorito 1. And then at that snake insert bunker, heavy center push, trying to get a kill, but five on five as neither team is able to get a kill off the break. But excuse me, killers, almost said newbies, we'll see them later today.
Killer's diving in and getting into Dorito 3. So better field position, as you can see. It. Oh, but he loses an inside gun battle. Can't have that. Chavez quick to take Dorito 4. Great job by Chavez. So Killers do fill into the Dorito, though. So good job. Trying to call his kill right now. Players just walking off right now for the Killers. They lose another player. Running ref coming in to check the player in the center. Also, oh, okay. No penalty assessed. So lucky for Diaz. Doesn't get a penalty. But unfortunately, four players walking off. Three, excuse me, three players walking off for the Killers. I think there's one body left alive. But he does get a shot on Chavez as he tries to come up the middle. So right now, so good concession by the Killers. Only have one player left. The PV fits three players. So PV fit taking the point there. So now both games, three to one. Let's see if Jesters can steal the momentum back from Notorious. Again, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. If you haven't already, like, share, comment, follow, and subscribe to all the NXL media channels. And myself, Vince from Let's Talk Paintball, as we're trying to provide the best live and free experience for all of these major events. So before we go into this next point, I do want to thank all the refs, the production crew, everybody out here, scorekeepers, Everyone's doing a phenomenal job trying to keep everything rolling. Got Matt Ingles, Chief Ingles himself, on the ones and twos in the booth for me. Austin next to him on the cameras. So, great breakout. Oh, but looks like the FSU player did get hit going in. But, it, oh, he's able to slide the hit off. Wow, great job by the FSU player. So, five on five breakout right now. Oh, and as I say that, the corner player from the Jesters gets Cyclops. And walks off the field. FSU loses Mikhail Kovar. So four on four right now. All tied up. The Tories in little better positions as they are in the snake first. But quick to fill that up. Is the Jesters. Jesters now in snake two. Notorious in snake three. The Notorious player has to be careful in the can. Oh, they lose another one. So 60 seconds left in this match. Jester storming down the field right now. They have to hit the buzzer quickly on this. So running in, trying to figure out where the bodies are. I mean, they they have to they have to go. They have to right now. They have to go. They have any chance of scoring another point? This is where you start trying to throw your bodies away just to get one person left alive to hit the buzzer. Oh, and they get it, but I don't think. Oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. So not going to be much time left in this game for the Jesters to come back, but they can still do it. I know I talked quite a bit about comebacks yesterday. I've seen your comments. I appreciate everybody interacting, but comeback stories, everyone loves a comeback story, and I'm a big fan of the underdog. So in this situation, though, going to have 33 seconds left for the Jesters to try to score a quick point I'm one of the more dominant teams in the, the semi-pro division, FSU Notorious, taking second place at the Sunshine State Major. So only down by one, 33 seconds left. PB Fit, on the other hand, plenty of time left in this game, six minutes, 59 seconds. Killers one, PB Fit three. So two point deficit so you can hear the calls on the sidelines from the coach of pb fit so five on five breakout right now oh unfortunately chavez does take the walk so four on five in favor of the killers killers right now trying to stack up that back line to get the kills so in that can on Dorito's side, the tall tower, which we're calling the home bunker. 
the stand up bricks, just a juice box. Oh, they peel, they peel off Colt Lukau as well. So Trent Mason filling over, trying to stop the bleeding a little bit from that side, from the Drio side of the field. Great job by Scott Stewart to get into the snake. In snake two, you can hear red alert on, on the uh, microphone there. That's the killer's players letting the rest of his players know that they know someone's in the snake. They just don't know where. Killer's also getting into the snake right now. So, so Scott Stewart scream at the ref right now that the, he shot the, the killer's player in the elbow. And if he did, it's not there no more as he just crawled on his elbow. So killer's playing the snake, get a cross field shot on Mike Diaz. Also gets Trent Mason. Oh, wow. So great job by the killer's player, number 21. Can't see your name, big dog, but good job to uh, get those three kills. So coming down the field right now. So killers losing another body. Oh, is there still? So Trent Mason still alive. I thought he was hit, but he was actually tactically retreating. So good job by Trent Mason. Killers lost all the bodies. And even myself, I lost the body too. I seen Trent walking back. I thought he was hit. But so Trent Mason may have just saved this point for PB Fit as it looks like it was going to be curtains. Wow, what an amazing play by Trent Mason. To save the point for PB Fit. That clutch move, that is the definition of clutch. In a situation like that, killer's trying to mount to come back, points breaking down, PB Fit players walking off in droves, and Trent Mason goes from the snake side all the way over to the Dorito side, gets up in their Doritos in a sneaky move, and shoots out the remaining three players for the killers. What a phenomenal move by Trent Mason. So back on the field right now, we're going to have FSU Notorious versus New Jersey Jesters. New Jersey Jesters have 33 seconds to score a comeback point to try to tie this up and make it a game. Hey, we go into overtime on Sundays, right? Semi-pro? So like the other, so unlike the other days, on Sunday, we will see overtimes in the semi-pro division if the Jesters are able to tie this up. 33 seconds, they have to go. Oh, unfortunately, Wow, and that's not what they needed as they're going to get a minor penalty. KCAV shot in the pod pack. Unfortunately, KCAV shot in the pod pack and uh, causes a minor penalty. Oh, that is a tough one. So, time ticking down right now. 10 seconds, oh, let's just say less than 10 seconds left to go. So great job by Notorious to stop the Jesters attacking downfield and not allowing them to come back. So British, number six, big gun on that one. I mean, absolutely phenomenal job. So, I mean, that's a tough one. It's a heartbreaker for Jesters. They were trying to trying their best. So make it to Sunday looking good. My heart goes out to those guys. Been fighting for a long time. But unfortunately, gonna have gonna have a, a slow walk back to the pits. Hey, good fight, good job. Jesters. Yeah, I seen it. So Update from the ref here, just confirming what I'm pretty sure I saw. KCAD, when he rounded the corner, he got shot in the back. Forward progression, unfortunately. You're supposed to stop, but that one's going to hurt. That one's going to hurt. So, that being said, back into this match. Plenty of time. Oh, great shooting by Mike Diaz, getting the player uh, 42 Hosky on the killers. So, that was a crucial kill. So, Great tag team. It may have been Trent Mason as well, but good tag team shooting there to zone that player out. Scott Stewart 
in the snake corner. Look for him to talk to Trent. They have a great one-two back and forth. Trent and Scott says, one of them says, hey, I'm stuck, I can't go. The other one says, hey, I'm stuck, I can't go. So they switch it up. So we've seen Scott in the snake, we've seen Trent in the snake. Mike Diaz moved up the middle. Great job up the middle into that center 40. Aztec right now trying to get those shot on the Dorito side. Colt Luke out yelling that he shot somebody. So killers drop another player. So five on three right now in favor of PB Fit. Four minutes left in this match. Killers down by three. You can see PB Fit really locked into their spots right now, communicating really well, and they peel off another. So it's going to be, looks like it's going to be five on two right now. PB Fit having better field position. Chavez all the way down into Dorito three already. Playing it smart, playing it cool, trying to shoot the angles, shooting the inside cut of that Dorito. Oh, great job by Scott Stewart to get into the snake, forcing the concession by the killers because Scott Stewart was getting ready to eat. Dirty Stew, commonly referred to as Scott Stewart. So again, we are in X-Ball. So what does X-Ball mean? So X-Ball means that because the of this, we do split deck matches, four teams play at a time. Because one match is already over, they will get two minutes in between each point. Uh, and then they have the same teams will be back on the field. So after every point, as long as a point is scored, they will switch sides. If it is a no point, teams will stay on the same side. So as we're looking at the field right now, we got a couple common calls that you may not know if you're watching for the first time. So uh, just like a football field, there is a 50 yard line, which is the halfway point on the field. So as you can see here, we have a 50 yard line in the snake, which is this uh, W or cowboy hat wing looking structure all the way down to those big bricks that split everything up. So as you can see, the snake is a bunch of long beams with some knuckles in the middle. So we call that the snake. On the other side of the field, we have uh, Doritos. And those are the triangle shaped bunkers. They come in two different sizes, large and small. And they're usually called um, in order by position. So Dorito 1 would be the first Dorito. Dorito 2 would be the second and so on. Now, uh, once you get into the other team side of the field, we'll say, for example, PB Fit is in the killer's Dorito 4. So we'll try to break down and explain it for you. If you have any comments, you want to know anything, throw it up in the chat. I will do my best to answer your questions here as we are live on the NXL Premier Field here at the Mid-Atlantic Major right outside Philadelphia, America. Again, I am Vince from Let's Talk Paintball on this beautiful day. Breakout here. I said Philadelphia America. I meant Philadelphia PA. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for catching that. Um, all right. So we are here again. Killers PB Fit on the field right now. Oh, phenomenal. Oh, <laughs> so about to say phenomenal move by the Killers, but unfortunately he does get shot out making the move to the wedge on Rio's side. But the killers are storming up to Dorito 3 already. They need to start pushing because they are down by four. Mercy rule here is five. So if PD Fit scores this point, they will mercy the killers. Three minutes left in this match. Killers need to make something happen right now to have a chance at going into overtime. Trent Mason dives into the snake. Killers right now rolling their guns, trying to figure out what the angles are. They don't have time for this. Killers need to push. Right now, they're on the back line, and Trent Mason getting into the 50s is not going to help anybody. Oh, what an amazing shot. Trent Mason just through the middle, shooting out the player in the small Aztec, now in the 50 snake, looking cross field, looking inside, trying to get a shot. Probing around. So Trent Mason trying to listen to his teammates where the bodies are. But this field has been notorious for losing bodies as Trent Mason doesn't know a player is on the PB Fit side of the field. So great job by the killers player who doesn't know that there's a stake player left. Wow. So we have seen that several times already where players 
are losing each other. So and what I mean by that is, is snake side, because these big props in the middle, we have these wings, we have these bricks, the snake side players are losing the drill side players and vice versa. The snake side players traditionally have to crawl on their bellies and it makes it hard, um, unfortunately, to see them when they're crawling. So it's very easy to run past them if you can't see uh, down into the snake. So in that situation, Ma Trent Mason doing a phenomenal job in the snake, not realize he's losing everybody around him. Killers running down the Dorito side, getting those shots on the back players for PB Fit. And then uh, Trent Mason losing a snap battle to the killers player in the corner. Great job. Great job by the player or by the uh, killers player. Right again, we have some amazing paintball coming up right now. So we will see the conclusion of this PB Fit Killers match. So the previous, um, the previous game that was in this set, Jesters versus Notorious. Notorious is able to pull out a one-point win as the Jesters tried to mount a little bit of a comeback there at the 33 seconds, not able to do it. Coming up next, we have Indianapolis Mutiny versus Blast Camp and CEP versus Blitz. And they will decide, uh, those matches will decide who faces the Padres, the Newbies, A Team, and the Sea Dogs, as all four of those teams tops of their bracket. So they get to buy into the next round. So it pays off to be the best in your bracket because you don't have to play these early morning matches. You move straight into quarterfinals. All right, on your field right now, PB Fit versus Killers. Killers able to stop the bleeding a little bit, making it a three-point game instead of a four-point game, staving off that mercy rule. But Killers do lose two bodies quick, which is not going to help them. Great lane shooting. Great lane shooting by PB Fit. As another player walks off, so I th oh, it is a five- it's a five on two right now in favor of PB Fit. Killers player in the center, trying to wheel and deal a little bit, trying to get that shot. He's gotta be careful. Mike Diaz has the drop shot on him. Colt Lukau moving up the middle on the inside, 60 seconds left. Oh, tr there we go. Mike Diaz getting some. Said, hey, my. Trent Mason can't be the only one making big moves. I got to go eat as well. Wow. So, refs running in. Looks like a penalty. Trying to figure out what happened. Last moment's a little chaotic on the trio side. Colt Lukau. Looking a little confused here, what they're talking about. We might see a penalty on PB Fit. So, I believe it, that penalty actually is on the killers. PP Fit players over there as well. I just seen the ref throw the flags. We're trying to confirm where that penalty came from. But the ref did stop. So, confirming here with PB Fit's coach. On, on what that on what that was. Wow! So it looks like looks like forty five seconds left. Killers player gets a major penalty. Gets absolutely destroyed by the PB Fit players. Not loving that, so they went ahead and. Uh, Started, he went ahead and started shooting back. So can't have that. It is a major penalty every time. PB Fit, hype in their pits right now. Excited, obviously, about this match. Unfortunately, Killers, I think they kind of know right now, unlikely that they make a comeback. Going out there just for pride at this point. PB Fit, six. Or excuse me. 
You got PB Fitz, six points. Killers, two. Killers at this point, they have 45 seconds to not get mercied. Losing on Sunday is hard. Losing on Sunday by a mercy rule is harder. So, going out for this one for pride. Great job, though, by the Killers, making it this far. Tough battles all through the weekend. All of these teams, phenomenal battles. So, we do have some awards we will be giving away on this field. We have this amazing BKI Most Valuable Player Award. It is a custom engraved, custom anodized uh, BKI, or excuse me, a powerhouse rig that you can only get on the Premier Field. We also have some Let's Talk Paintball, Tank Dangle collaborations, Move of the Day, which we'll be giving away uh, later today for Saturday. But back into this breakout action, we have Killers versus PB Fit. Four versus five is the Killers lose their snake corner player. Five, five, six over here trying to eat up bodies, but unfortunately Trent Mason flying down in the PB Fit side of the side of the, of the field already. Great move out though. Time taken down. Shouldn't take very long as wow, great job by PB Fit. The push just running down and Trying to think what happened there. Okay. Trying to figure out what just happened. We heard bass, but I believe time has expired. I'm trying to figure out here. We had an inadvertent bass um, happen here. So that being said, great job by PB Fit, looking dominant. Um, and actually, in a, in a show of sportsmanship, PB Fit actually was not going to hit the base and not mercy rule the killers. Um, so that's just, you got you to gotta love that, the sportsmanship right there. They could have very easily run down, mercy ruled the killers, and uh, sent them home with a mercy. But great sportsmanship shown by PB Fit to not mercy rule the killers um, and let them go home with some pride. So good job to both teams. Great action so far this morning. Again, Jester's losing a close one to Notorious. We'll move on. PB Fit winning 6-2 to two over the Killers. We have some uh, great WNXL action coming up as, as well later today. So Destiny will be facing Vibe. And Heroines will be facing Femme Fatales. Stick around as we will be back with more action here soon. I am Vince from Let's Talk Paintball, and I'll see you soon after this commercial break.